guys and welcome. With me today I have beautiful Shale here. And Shale, he is my male super ivory ghost boa. He's absolutely stunning. I am so in love with the ghost morph and he is just a prime example of a beautiful ghost morph. Anyway, what I wanted to talk to you guys about today was how to do a very, very simple setup for a boa. So why don't we take a look at that? Alright guys, now it's time to take a look at Shale's terrarium. This is a pretty pretty standard terrarium. It has these sliding doors. I took them off for you because otherwise you won't be able to see it fully. In the background here I have, uh, oh dear, what is it called? Cork, I believe. Anyway, this is for the background. I really like to cover something in the background of every single one of my terrarium because that will make these snakes feel more comfortable, like they are not being that exposed to every side. So I can highly recommend covering your background with something. It doesn't need to be cork inside. You can just as easily put a towel on the outside of the bag, but it really does depend on what do you like the most. All right, so underneath here, it's a bit difficult to see, but I do have like one of these heating cables. And as many of you, you might not believe it, but they really do produce like a massive amount of heat so instead of a heat mat or a heating lamp you can use both of them just as easily you can also use this a heating cable and normally I do use a heating mat I can just quickly show you how they look all right so this is a heating mat this is a pretty standard heating mat that's how they use what you do with them is that you just like put them underneath the terrarium not inside if you put them inside you are in the risk of overheating the entire terrarium and you can also cause some damage to the snake because the snakes for some reason don't feel the pain the same way that we do whereas we will move away if something is hot the snake will basically just stay put so heating mat really really good I recommend that underneath the terrarium you can also use a heat lamp I really don't use them as much the next thing we're gonna put in is the substrate there is a wide debate on what substrate is the best I use newspapers you can also go something else like rapture bark or coconut fiber or whichever you would like but I prefer to use the newspapers because it's very very easy the snake don't mind at all it's not toxic and you can clean it up pretty pretty fast and of course it doesn't really cost that much money usually you just get the newspapers in the mail let's put in the newspaper all right so that was the substrate or the newspaper pretty pretty easy the next thing we're going to put in is the hive all right, so this is the hide. This is a hide that you will very often see at various expos and in pet shops. And they're really, really good because they basically do what they need to do. They create this darkness for the snake to have. The snake don't mind at all how the hide is looking. So this is purely what you think is looking best. So I have one of these. I really like them. I think they're looking great. So I put this hide in the cold side. The next hide I'm gonna use is this. And this is nowhere near as fancy as the other one. This is actually, uh, this was used to have meat in it and I pretty much cleaned it very very thoroughly and then I cut a hole in here for the snake to go into. This works just as well as the other type of hide so if you don't fancy using a lot of money on these types of hides you can pretty much just use this because this do the same thing as that one which means that it creates the darkness and the safety that the snake really needs. So this one is going in the warmer end. So one and two hides. For boas it is not that necessary to go too hard. You can do it if you want to be good to your snake. I prefer giving them two hides so they can choose whether they want to go to the cold side or the warm side. So two hides. The next thing we're going to put in is something incredibly important and it is of course the water bowl. The water bowl is very very important of course because it contains water and the snake needs to have water available 24-7. This is one of these more natural looking water bowls that you can get from expos or in pet stores. But all in all, it doesn't need to be one of these as long as the bowl can contain water. It's perfect for your snake. So you can even use like a dog bowl if that's what you fancy. Anyway, but I really like the natural look to it. So we're going to put this in. Remember, it's very important for your snake to have uh, fresh water available. So it's a really good idea to change it daily if you have the opportunity. Contrary to, for example, a bull python, boas are really known for loving to soak in the water bowl. Not everyone does it, but they are known for wanting to do it. I see it more often in older boas than I do in youngers, but I really want to give him the opportunity. Of course, this water bowl is not totally not big enough for his whole body to be in, but he can still get a pretty good amount should he want to. So this is pretty much a basic setup. Now the snake has everything he needs to thrive and be healthy. If you want to do more for your snake, of course you can 
you can add one of these fake plants. It really doesn't do that much for the snake except that it does create a little bit more clutter. So if you want to feel a little bit more safe, you can do that. And you can of course also put in some branches and stuff like that. The snake is going to love it. But this is a pretty good minimum basic and simple setup for a boa constrictor. You really don't need that much more than this to make sure that your snake is healthy. And Shell, he's doing so well. He is pooping, eating and shedding like a champion. I've never ever had any issue with him. So this setup really does work for him. Now the only thing that we need of course is Shell, so let's go get him. That's all for today. I really do hope you enjoyed this video on how to do a simple setup for a boa constrictor. Let me know guys what kind of substrate do you prefer for the boa constrictor? Do you prefer newspapers like I'm using or do you like something more like the coconut fiber or whatever? Guys write it right down in the comment. I'm very interested to hear what you've chosen and of course why. Thank you guys so much. Please give the video a like so I know that you like what I make. It really does mean a lot to me and while you're at it just hit subscribe on that channel. That's all for now. Thank you and bye bye! Bye!